Hey guys, um, so I ran into an issue with uh, with testing my uh, uh, Vive controllers. Uh, today I switched up to um, 4.24.3 uh, of the engine version uh, because I, I'm used to use, using these uh, knuckles instead and I realized that the 4.23 didn't have the, the, the input uh, bindings uh, that was necessary for that. So I d decided to make the switch. So that um, um, presented some problems for me, uh, which I want to cover in this video in case somebody uh, runs into the same issue here. So what I basically did was to go into my, uh, so this is just a blank project, 4.24.3. Uh, uh, um, and I went to the inputs and tried to just map the, the settings here. So I wanted to create a motion control on left uh, X and uh, map this. As you can see, we have the vibe and we have the valve index. So right now I have the vibe controls. I wanted to just get a reading of the trackpad X because I was, uh, my character didn't move. Um, so I just um, went back and tried to, to debug this uh, in the most basic uh, setup. So as mentioned, blank project, add a pawn. Uh, call this my pawn example and drag this into the scene and open it up and here we're just going to get a read out of this so print string and get to the left so when we hit play uh, i would expect you can see i'm, I'm moving my, the thumbs on both of them and nothing is coming out of it i would expect something at least um, so uh, after a lot of uh, uh, testing back and forth, I figured out that uh, this is probably what you could call a bug or something uh, definitely in the category of uh, undocumented feature. Uh, so if you type in uh, or add uh, another one for the, the Y axis here uh, and set it to the uh, Y axis here. Uh, still nothing is coming out so that is maybe uh, for some people for for example the oculus users expected because we have to possess the player until we get something so now you can see uh, um, this is the left i'm getting a readout for for the left um, controller when i'm moving the thumb here uh, but what was um, quite surprising uh, was that um, if i go into the input and I want to rename this to something else. I wanted to call this motion control, for example. And this has nothing, nothing to do with the X. I'm just reading out the X. I'm renaming the Y here and hit play. You see now I'm still moving my finger, but it's still saying zero. This also holds true if you wanna go and delete this one so in, let's say you just wanted to get a te quick test out of the X you see I'm moving my finger nothing is coming out and that means it seems like it's not working and that can end up throwing you off uh, so uh, let's add it again something Y And nothing happens. And now you can see you get readouts. This is a really weird uh, issue, I would say. I have no other way to really describe this than show it on a video. So I hope uh, you guys could get something out of this and this will save you some time uh, when, when you, if you run into this issue. So in, in short again, it's, uh, it's, it's necessary to call the, uh, the input settings the exact same uh, and make sure they are called underscore X and underscore Y and the part before that is the same. 
that's one thing and also you need to make sure that you auto possess or possess uh, the, the the pawn or the character uh, that you want to get a readout of otherwise it's not going to return anything as you can see from the the tooltip here it says if the input is disabled for this actor the value would be zero but the other part with the um, with the two uh, input bindings having to be called the exact same thing except the underscore x and underscore y that is definitely not documented anywhere as far as i'm, I'm aware so that's it for this video hope you uh, got something out of it and that's it bye for now